start off by saying congratulations on the release of the show. That's huge. What has that been like kind of building up to that for you and now having it out and having people watch it and react to it? Um, it's been three years of a long wait. Uh, really, really excited to see the show, to know how would people react, to to see how it, it how it was edited and like the final result. And to finally get to see this, see people's reaction. I had my god my godmother call me the other day crying, like literally sobbing, like, oh my God, this is so touching. And I really didn't know. So in general, it's been it's been very rewarding. I've been eight years in LA uh, trying to get to my crossover and finally having a project that is really meaningful to me. Um, and it has such a beautiful impact on people. It's it's truly a privilege. Yes. And I mean, this is such a powerful series, as you said, but it also has a lot of meaning to you. I'm wondering what specifically drew you to want to be a part of this? Was it the script? Was it your fellow actors? Could you talk more about that? Of course. Well, additionally to representing just 6.6% of Latin roles in streaming services per the latest UCLA report, um, having a female Latin director and a cast like the one I shared the series with is more than enough of a reason, of course. But the main aspect that appealed to me was Paula. I, I just felt like she had a lot of, I, I had a lot of things in common with her. And although I can't say I relate to the challenges she had in regards to her legal status, I have lost friends in the process of migration. And this has impacted my life in, in so deeply that I felt like it was a responsibility to do this, to be able to portray these challenges and shine a light on these injustices is, again, a privilege. But I want to talk more about your character. As you said, she goes through a lot. She's very deep and has a lot of things going on in her life. How do you step into her role and kind of put yourself in the mindset of that character? Um, there's so much to who she is. Uh, Paula is kind and lo a loving woman with a very noble heart. She deeply cares for others. And I think this is a quality that a lot of people can relate to, identify with. Um, we can also feel drawn to people um, who make us feel seen. And she is that motherly energy we all seek. I prepared, uh, inspired by the women in my life, my mother, my grandmother, may she rest in peace, my friends. I, I have such a big network of powerful women who has set the example for me to portray Paula in the most authentic way. And also, um, I have gone through domestic violence. I have gone through um, migration myself. And so these are conversations that are so close to my heart that it, it's just being authentic to who I am and therefore being authentic to Paula, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, there's so many different and amazing shots throughout this whole series I'm wondering, do you personally have a favorite scene or memory from your time on this set? Yes. Um, there are so many moments that I can recall, but I think that my favorite one was the scene where I go to the stable with my camera to document the the cows because I'm I, I try to save all these memories. And I remember that I'm talking about how when I was younger, um, I was always surrounded by animals. I don't want to go too much into this story so I don't spill the beans. But long story short, this baby cow came right on cue. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, it, for me, it was so meaningful because it was literally going hand in hand with the dialogue that I was saying at that moment. And everybody had to like really hold themselves to react to it. Uh, and not spoil the scene but it was it was really beautiful and everybody was like in tune and like the divine universe it, it was it was quite a cute uh, memorable uh, situation yeah and I mean are you an animal person in real life I am I am the type of person who would baby talk to every single animal you see <laughs> the flowers the birds I get distracted constantly I want to pet every single dog some ladies look at me and give me the stink eye because I try to 
pets <laughs> without their authorization. I'm that type of girl. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I completely understand that. You got to love nature and animals. <laughs> You'll probably see me somewhere in LA, like laying on the floor, 30 floor with two dogs that I just met. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's a good way to live life. <laughs> But I mean, if you could describe this season in three words, what would they be? Wow. Revealing, humane, and unexpected. <laughs> okay. And I mean, obviously this cast is close because it covers a lot of topics and that should bring you guys together. But have you guys talked about what you would want to see for a possible season two or for your characters' story arcs? Oh my goodness. I have bombarded the production with ideas <laughs> to Paula's backstory before she even got into the States, uh, her parents, her 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 love life, everything that built her up. Um they haven't told us anything yet, so I'm I'm kind of expecting and like thirsty to know all the the nitty gritty details that will come forward. But yeah, hopefully, looking forward to a lot of Paula and 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 a lot of her in the past. <laughs> Definitely, and I mean, a big part of TV and movie is the fans. I'm wondering, have you had any fan interactions, or has anybody reached out to you yet, kind of saying what this show means to them? Yes, actually, I had, oh my god, I, I, I get goosebumps thinking about it. I had, and I apologize, I'm near an airport, if you can notice, there's like, it's okay. Plane. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, a, around two, three days ago, I had an IG message um, from someone who watched it. I'm trying not to get emotional. Um, and told me it was basically her mom's life story uh, that it took her almost 10 years to find her mom after she was deported and they finally got together and they live now in San Jose. And for me to be able to understand the level of impact it has on people in a personal level, it's an honor. Um, try not to cry because it was really, it was really impactful. I never thought I would gonna I was gonna get a message from somebody saying that this was literally their life story. Um, so yeah, it affected me deeply, and and it and it validated um, the place where I I developed Paula from, which was a place of love of honoring the uh, the many people and families that that have been disrupted by the system and and its ways. Yeah, and I mean, as an actor, does that push you to kind of want to take on more of these roles and bring light to all of these stories? Most certainly. I think that as an as an actor, we have the responsibility to bring light to, to conversations like these. Um, when I was younger, of course, I, I you're, you're thirsty and you want to do and experience as many characters as possible. But as I grow older, I feel that there's such a level of responsibility with every rate, uh, role I take. And Paula is certainly one that impacted me. Um, and it makes me want to do more roles that have a responsibility for uh, the audience that watches it. Definitely. And I mean, my last question for you, obviously this release is exciting and you're getting all the feedback from it, but do you have any future projects that you could hint at or talk about? Yes, of course. Um, just a couple months ago, uh, the system went out with Tyrese uh, Gibson and uh, Jeremy Piven. I also just did a movie with Giancarlo Scanella as a co-lead. It's a dramedy, romantic dramedy. It's a very fun one. So it's set to release on 2024, so very excited for that one. And a couple of shorts here and there. One of them is an outfit which talks about uh, body image and the process of post uh, postpartum depression. So yeah, a couple of things coming up. Very excited. Yeah, well, I'm excited to hear all about them. And thank you so much for your time and congratulations on everything. Thank you, Gracie. Thank you for taking the time to interview me and, and being such a kind, beautiful person. Thank you.